What's going on, guys? Push day going down today. Um, working to increase interest set volume via drop sets and rest pause drop sets and rest pause in general as well. Uh, one of the things that I'm trying to do since I'm working body parts once a week is not increase the overall volume, but increase uh, the volume that I'm putting a muscle through via these intraset, quote unquote, uh, techniques, rest pause, rest pause drop sets, and just general drop sets. So we got chest and shoulders on tap for today. Uh, this is going to be uh, a Shogun style workout. Uh, Shogun, if you don't know, is a program that I'll be releasing uh, here in the forthcoming weeks. I already have two programs out, and this is kind of like the third installment of uh, that tenacity of strength uh, trifecta that I'm trying to hit. So it's a low volume program, but it's also using a lot of these techniques. So. I get the progressive overload or die, but at some point, like especially as you get older, you have to understand that you're not going to be able to progress in weight every week. You're not going to be able to progress in reps every week. The body is an ebb and a flow. Um, so you have to account for that somehow. And interest set intensity techniques are a good way to do that. Uh, not everyone will agree, but that's fine. You know, my way is a way, it's not the way. Uh, so we're going to get to it, we're going to rock it out, and, you know, stick around, and I'll tell you where you can download today's uh, sample workout that's coming from Shogun. I won't tell you what week it is, but you can try it and uh, see if you like it, and hopefully you'll pick it up. All right, let's get going. All right, kicking it off here with a little bit of machine press. Uh, this is a mainstay mainstay inside of the Shogun program that like I said will be getting released here in the forthcoming weeks uh, just a little bit after New Year's about a couple of weeks or so um, so reason we do the machine press first if you followed any John Meadows programs uh, you know that he likes to wake up quote unquote the chest with uh, some machine presses get the blood nice and flowing through the muscle uh, I like to do the same so this uh, particular piece of equipment uh, is an old school flex press. Uh, it's not the most forgiving piece of equipment when you get up in loads. So we kept the moderate load today, just making sure that we get a full range of motion. Nice contraction at the top. I uh, even briefly hold it at the top in one of the videos. Uh, but in any event, you definitely want to pick a chest press that engages the pecs. If, they, if the handles can converge, uh, if you got that type of chest press, then that is uh, absolutely a perfect one to use. Uh, obviously, the handles don't converge on this one, so the way that I used uh, the machine to keep my pecs engaged is that I didn't tuck my elbow. I kept it, uh, I kept it up as much as possible, and really just focused on uh, contracting the chest, trying to put it in a very good shortened position. Uh, normally, I use the converging handle hammer strength bench press but this morning I wanted a bit of a change up uh, so from there we went on to our loading exercise heavy loading exercise which was the incline press now this is a self spotting bench uh, a lot of you guys don't have this so I recommend you guys get a spotter for the incline press basically I just pulled it forward press it up and that's the self spot right there um, a couple of things that I want to talk about with the incline press I do a drop set on this. Uh, normally I wouldn't do a drop set on incline press for the simple fact that I think it's a heavy loading movement and should be treated as such so you don't need a lot of intensity techniques but seeing that I got to 275 and was only able to eke out four that's where the drop set came in. So in Shogun how I would like it is that if you don't hit the reps with one of your top weights then please by all means feel free to do a drop set and get some more volume for that muscle right we're trying to increase intraset volume so even though you do a drop set even though you do a rest pause set to me that's still one set and doesn't mess with the overall volume of the workout so you can go ahead and do as many rest pauses and as many drops as you want the overall volume, meaning the sets performed per workout, 
is not going to change. Uh, at least you shouldn't be counting those sets in my opinion. So you'll see what a rest pause drop set is right here. So three plates right here. Uh, my first work set on the hammer strength wide press. Um, very, very great exercise. Uh, I like it a whole hell of a lot. So with this, we got three plates in a 25. I'm going to go to failure on this. And then I'm going to take a quick break to the tune of about 10 to 15 seconds. Do some heavy breathing. Get back under it. And then try to rep it out some more. Get hit failure. Then I do it again. Right? And on that last one where I can barely budge out two or three, I go ahead and I go ahead and drop the weight. So I peel the 25s off per first and then I peel off a full plate. And I don't know if I did a I don't know if I did one more drop, but in any event, this is where I did the rest pause drop set. So this is the first section of the rest pause right here. And now this is the second section. And I'm probably I think I'm gonna get about two or three reps right here. So the muscle is really, really failing. As you can see, I'm really struggling. Um, in retrospect, I probably should have bust out some partials, but I didn't feel they were necessary. So as you can see, I'm dropping the weight from three plates on the 25 to three plates, and then I'm gonna go ahead and rep them out, right? Now here, I just did another drop. What I really should have did is that I just should have did a rest pause set, and then when I couldn't get at least one, I should have dropped it then. Uh, but in any event, that's all right. We got that first rest pause work set in, and now we're just gonna go from there. Following up with, excuse me, following up with something that's uh, one of my favorite exercises. It is the cable fly by Free Motion. Um, reason I like it so much is that it's easy on my elbow. It doesn't tug on my elbow like a lot of other cables do, um, and it just really provides a lot of good constant tension. Um, these aren't going to build the best degree of mass, but it's going to pump a lot of blood into the muscle, which, you know, for bodybuilders, that's what we're after a lot of time. That's what I was after today. Um, I couldn't really train with a lot of load until I see what's going on with my shoulder and my elbow. But rest assured, uh, I'm really trying to get better at my pressing. So, but cable flies work. Now here... Here I did a drop set. I think I did a triple drop and just really wanted to push the chest to failure because I had shoulders after this. And with shoulders following this, um, my triceps were pretty well shot. Um, so really didn't have any pressing strength after. Um, although I did go on shoulder presses, which you'll see here in a moment. Um, but overall, this was a good uh, way to finish off the chest workout and one that I actually prefer. Um, sometimes I do flies, but they just tend to tug at my arm a little bit and, you know, I'm not super healthy in my shoulder joint, so I, I kind of leave it alone. Um, speaking of shoulders, starting out with the arsenal strength, uh, lateral raise, and this is something that I definitely, definitely, definitely like to do. Um, big fan of it, big fan of it. Um, I tried to do the full range of motion like, uh, Dr. Mike Isri tell advisors. Uh, but it didn't work out, so I raised it up as high as I could. Went a little bit heavy on this and also did a drop set as well. Uh, shoulders were on fire after I got done with this. I mean, they were definitely on fire. Um, if these were free, rate, free weight laterals inside of the uh, program that I'll be putting out, uh, I would have just I would have just had you do straight sh straight sets. Uh, but at some point, I think I'll just have you guys run the rack. Um, but, you know, that remains to be seen. Uh, I'll put this workout up on my uh, WordPress site just to give you an idea of what you can expect uh, from the program. And if you like it, uh, again, I hope you pick it up. But moving on to the next exercise in this uh, rotation was upright rows. Uh, so upright rows is a movement I don't do a ton of. Uh, I'll be quite honest with you, but when I do do perform it, I feel it's a great way to hit the uh, medial head of the deltoid. So see that the you want you to see that the bar is a little bit away from me, 
Uh, that is by design because I feel I can hit the medial head of the delt better uh, so I can keep my elbows wide. Um, that's just something that I picked up from a couple of pro bodybuilders and just playing around with the um, just playing around with the form myself. Uh, I like to think of myself as Dennis James when I do these. If you've ever seen him do uh, upright rows in the 2001 Battle for the Olympia, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, finished off the workout with some hammer strength behind the neck presses. Uh, five sets, really jacked up the volume on that. Around about 8 to 12 reps. So that's it, guys. A simple uh, push day for me. Um, if you notice the shirt, it has tenacity strength on it. I figure if uh, you know I can pimp my own brand, like I pimp other brands, because I support a lot of people. And you know, uh, getting a little transparent here, I suffer from imposter syndrome. I think I don't know enough, or you know, I'll never know enough, or whatever. But at the end of the day, I feel I know enough to help you guys out. So I offer custom programming. Um, just hit me up for that. Um, I also am writing Shogun, and I have two other programs out as well. So guys, uh, head over to my WordPress site, download today's workout, and we'll see you on the other side of 2021. Back day tomorrow. Let's get it on.